All right, so imagine dealing with the heat wave without your air conditioning. That is the reality for thousands of Texans this morning. You're waking up without power days after a severe storm knocked it out. At last check, about 130,000 homes had no service. Yeah, Megan Mitchell is live in Dallas with the latest. And Megan, help is on the way from North Texas this morning. What's the latest? Yeah, good morning to you both. You know that heat does not discriminate here in Texas and in East Texas. There are about 130,000 customers that are without power. And I'm now here with David Hardage. He's with Texas Baptist Men. I love some of the things that you have in this kitchen unit here because this will help so many of the, pe of the people who don't have access to electricity to right. get that food made. Well, that's right. Um, so many people are without power right now, so they can't cook their meals. And so this uh, trailer will go out today and go to Gilmer, Texas, over in East Texas, and they will begin to provide meals for all those people, uh, thousands of them who can't provide meals for themselves today. And I know you're thinking, yes, this is a small trailer. Right. Look at how big this skillet is. <laughs> yeah, this is a tilt skillet and uh, 300 servings of corn or beans at a time can be made in this. And they just tilt it over, put it in some special containers that keep it hot for 24 hours. And they can serve uh, person after person, family after family, and make a great difference. And this is the thing. You're now looking at a number of different trucks that are going to East Texas. Uh, they've got laundry units. They've got showers in there. And there's already chainsaw crews who are over in East Texas, over in Perryton, who are trying to help out with this cause. And so you mentioned, David, that you're providing hope. You're providing healing. What is the goal of what you all are trying to do? And how can those who are listening to our broadcast help? Well, the thing that we try to do is let people know that there are others out there who care about them and care so much that they're willing to step in and provide food, chainsaw relief, all those kinds of things, just to know that we care. And so for the people out there, we thank you for being involved with us. You can go to our website, tbmtx.org. You can find ways to give, and you can find ways to volunteer if you'd like to do that. But any help is uh, greatly appreciated, and we're making a difference making a difference, and that is the goal here in North Texas, helping East Texas. So, of course, Kara, I'm going to send it back to you because they're really trying to make sure that everyone that doesn't have power right now can at least survive the next couple of days through this heat. Yeah, here's hoping they can get that power stored as quickly as possible, Megan. Of course, the storm that caused those outages out east, the same one that created an EF3 tornado in the panhandle. Take a look at the damage in Perryton. At least three people killed, hundreds of homes destroyed there. Texas Senator Ted Cruz toured the damage with Perryton's Texas. mayor, talked with survivors. Texas Governor Greg Abbott visited as well and signed a disaster declaration. He said it was some of the worst tornado damage he has ever seen. 